Hey guys, Morgan Joe here. Uh, Murray's got the twin on her. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm just fabricating some exhaust. Can't really think of much because I got the hood and I need this thing to be quiet. So I got to fit my mufflers on. Here's a, here's a new one I just had. Here's the old one that was on the Tecumseh. Tecumseh sitting right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing, to be honest. Uh, yeah, twins on here, fires right up, every, everything like that. Got to relocate my uh, choke because on these twins, if you don't have a, like a choke cable on there, this little lever right here, it's supposed to be all the way out like that for no choke, but look, second I let go, it goes all the way to choke, so it's, can't have that. Uh this is a twin with a Nikki 6 carburetor. A lot of people don't like these because it's a, a Briggs Genuine carburetor. They cost a lot of money to uh, rebuild. Uh, and it literally, there's nothing there for like the jet, the low speed idle or something like that. Uh, but yeah, got the springs here connected to my governor. Because I got my throttle cable hooked right to the governor. If you can see right there, yep. Pretty much just had the cable going to my governor linkage, or my throttle linkage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's pretty much, much just got like one of those squash nuts on it, and that's holding that in there. But if you see, everything on this engine has that same brand new color, like the grade 8 bolt color. Uh, turns out, the guy, the previous owner, before me, he barely used this engine. See, look. Every single bolt, everything. Look, this thing is so clean, so brand new. Look, the tires. Still got this little tacky stuff in the middle. He said he barely ever used this thing. The only time he used it was in the winter for plowing snow. Um, but yeah, this thing's in mint condition. Even the starter looks brand new. Everything, man. This thing is clean. I might still take the heads off and everything and put new spark plugs in it. Just clean everything out. Uh, make it more reliable. Yeah, this is a massive engine. Uh, got the hood over there. Gonna need a little bit of a modification. So far, it's running smoothly. Tell you what, this sucker is loud. Uh, one thing I noticed about this thing is if you look at like a 19 and a half horsepower engines, like the one I, that comes with these Craftsmans, uh, they say quiet package on the side. And if you look, at one of these tubes, the exhaust tubes. Uh, if you look, it goes it steps from three quarter to one inch. As on the other ones, what they do is they go from three three quarter, they go all the way down until they get to this little end piece right here, where it curves. Then they jump up to one inch so they can fit in the mufflers. I think that's what the quiet package is. But yeah, Justin has a uh, a three a three inch tube, while mine is one inch. So I wonder if I can, uh, wonder if this thing will pump out some more horsies. But I don't know. Uh, this thing's going to be pretty, pretty neat though. It's got some old spark plugs in it. It's got like the old j 19 ms or rj 19 ms whatever these things are. Oh, that looks brand new in there. Look, these are the old j 19 ms Got the little ribs and spark plug on the ceramic. Uh, but yeah, everything's pretty nice on this thing. It's like barely ever been used. Look in there, see if there's any. Oh, looks like there's no, uh, whatchamacallit, a mouse nest or whatever you want to call it, mouth bedding, anything like that. And just a little bit of grass in the fence, but that's it. Uh, it's a little bit dirty down there, but hey, I could just clean that right up. Uh, this thing's... Like a brand new engine, practically, even though it's from like '99. Uh, but yeah. Have, oh wait, had to raise up my gas tank one more slot, and literally sticking above that, so I'm definitely gonna have to cut that out. Uh, but yeah, this thing runs nice. Just gotta get her, get her going. But yeah, uh, that's a little update for right now, and please subscribe. Please comment, please like, I'll see you guys in a little bit.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, got the exhaust all welded up. Just came over. We we're just cutting and welding, fabricating stuff like that. And uh, here's a front view of what it looks like. Yeah, they're not the same, but whatever. They they're in the same spots practically. Um, so on this one, I just cut it off on the top pipe. Uh, had this little T bracket. I don't know what you call it. Some T pipe. Uh, welded it on there. Crap welds on This thing didn't weld so well. Um, right, because I was doing minimum. Those Harbor Freight welders weld like crap on minimum. Uh, but yeah, I got that T. Put a little backspace around the back. I don't know what to call it. A plug. Um, weld that. My muffler just screws on. Uh, I got this one. I cut it a little bit uh, lower. As you can see, just a little 90 degree piece of pipe. I brought that out. And welded a piece of pipe to it, and I got my muffler. Uh, hopefully, this thing will start for you. Got, oops, piece of pipe. Hopefully, this thing will start. Uh, choke on. Choke's on down there. My choke's down there now. Okay. It's not that loud, but it's kind of loud. I think the carburetor needs cleaned out because it only runs on choke. Um, so yeah, but it runs good on choke. But I think the carburetor needs cleaned out. But yeah, uh, what? we got the well, choke all wired up. I guess we're just putting it right there because it's not long enough. But yeah, it'll clear the hood. Uh, but yeah, that's all for guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and please subscribe. More Joe here. So today we got Justin in his SPD as lock. Yeah, I'm a country boy, got a four wheel drive. I'm in my bed, and I'll take you for a ride. Up city streets, down country <laughs> roads. I can get you where you wanna go. Cause I'm a country boy. Yeah, I'm a country boy. Oh, I'm just a Don't country boy. A nice little country boy.